Hey Capricorn, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for the month of July of 2024. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. And this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. It's crazy to think that we are already past the halfway of the year. Um, we have the strength card at the bottom of the deck, which is Leo. Maybe you're connecting to a Leo. Maybe you have Leo placements, Leo moon, Leo rising. I kind of feel like with the strength card, something about this month in particular is going to put you in this position where you will have to do something outside of your comfort zone, but it is going to be so worth it that some of you may not realize, you know, the, the fact that this will it'll feel like a sacrifice but it's going to end up really being some sort of an investment um i kind of feel like this may be related to your career or to your um you know development in some way like specifically those of you that are maybe thinking about or currently considering going back to school or doing some sort of higher level education or you know putting yourself in a position where technically you can go your whole life without doing it but you're choosing to give it a try or invest in it in order to, you know, see what that could lead to. You know, you're really trying to put yourself in this position uh, because you believe in it, you have faith in it, you know it's gonna yield results. So a lot of you are really testing yourself and saying, you know, I don't have to do this, but I want to. Right behind the strength card is the Three of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. So a lot of you could also be connecting to like-minded individuals um, you could be just simply having new connections as a result of you putting yourself in this position, right? Being outside of your comfort zone, taking a chance on something. You will connect to other people. I feel like with the Ten of Pentacles, you're going down a path towards true fulfillment. You know, true, meaningful relationships, connections, um, you know, work just in general. It's looking really good. We have the Seven of Pentacles, the Hierophant, which is Taurus, the Hanged Man, which is Pisces and the five of cups i kind of feel like right now some of you could still be in that contemplation mode where you're thinking okay i can either give this a try invest in this see what happens or i can just stay still not really do anything and just see if that does something for me but i feel like deep down inside you know what the best decision is or you know what is worth doing or worth trying or what's really going to give you what you're looking for uh, maybe the Seven of Pentacles could represent that some of you are just simply not satisfied with the way that something has been going. So you're thinking, do I keep trying even though I'm, I haven't really seen much or do I just stop here, right? I feel like with the Five of Cups, maybe the frustration or, you know, a certain disappointment or maybe a sadness is starting to kind of maybe make you feel less confident in yourself. But I feel like the universe is saying, this is just a temporary emotion. It is not you, right? You are not the failure or the disappointment or the reason why something isn't working. It's simply the emotion that's coming from a circumstance or a situation that potentially you may not even have control over. So do not attach yourself to that. All right, let's clarify the Hierophant. Eight of Cups. Yeah, I feel like some of you are thinking maybe you have to walk away from something. Maybe you have to distance yourself in order to gain some clarity and understanding about what the best decision is. We have the High Priestess, which is Pisces, the Ten of Swords, and the King of Wands. For some of you, this may actually be a warning to not put yourself in a position that you may not be ready for. Because I kind of feel like for some of you, this isn't so much about maybe investing in something else, but maybe just keeping a current thing going and not um, trying to escape from it too quickly, thinking that something else is going to get you where you want to go faster and then ending up where you don't want to be. So basically what I'm trying to say with that is that some of you are currently in a situation that you may be struggling to see the results, right? I feel like this Eight of Cups is you may have the tendency to run away. You may think, well, I need to just escape from this. Right? I feel like the universe is saying, don't give up so fast, right? Because this Ten of Swords is the energy of defeat. It could be the energy of regret. I feel like the universe is saying, listen to your gut feeling. Do not give up on this because you may regret it. Um, you know, you may feel worse by running away from it. Kind of like maybe this is one of those challenges that you are supposed to face head on because it's going to make you stronger. I feel like with the King of Wands, 
This is you needing to realize at this time, or maybe this is something you will realize this month, that you are a lot stronger than you think when you are in adverse or challenging situations. I feel like the universe may, wants you to understand that you have more control over your situations, um, even when you feel like things are not going the way that you want them to. Because right now it feels like the biggest obstacle is the mental one. It's just a mental block. But I feel like this month is going to be super enlightening for a lot of you that are currently going through a situation that you have this tendency to run away from or walk away from because you think that it's not going to change. Let's clarify the Seven of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you are going to see the benefit of this in the long run. I feel like it's something that's going to really happen slowly. It's going to be like a, a gradual process, like from the beginning of the month of July to the ending. So many things can change. So many things can happen where you will, you know, begin feeling a certain way and you will end feeling a certain way. We have the Magician, which is Gemini and Virgo energy, the Hermit, which is Virgo energy, and the Two of Wands. So maybe some of you have Virgo placements. I kind of feel like with the Magician, some of you need to manifest from a different perspective. Or maybe there's something about you not seeing progress because you gave up on manifesting. You gave up on wishful thinking. You gave up on, you know, being optimistic about things going a certain way. Maybe with the hermit, you need some time to yourself. You need some time to just have no distractions to really think about this clearly. And I feel like with the two of wands, if you allow this to progress, you will see the results, right? If you give this time, if you allow the you know seed to sprout and grow you will feel a lot better than if you were to give up right now this second so for some of you this is more of a encouraging message to not give up on something that you have already invested in just because it's getting difficult so really love this for you hope you take it all in and if you like this reading and it resonated please give it a like please subscribe and i will see you in the next one